Chapter 8, The Mole Concept. Let me introduce you to a number, a number with a name, Avogadro's number. Atoms, as I think we understand, are too small to even see, and so they're much too small to count, right? It's hard to count something you can't even see. So instead of counting them individually, we count them in groups. And this may seem a little strange, but we do this in everyday life. We count um, a lot of things in terms of dozens. Eggs are sold by the dozen. It's, it's hard to go and just buy three eggs. They're going to sell you a whole dozen or maybe a half dozen of eggs. Um, donuts come in dozens, etc. cetera. Um, another unit like this um, that's a counting group is gross. Does anybody know what a gross is besides being gross? 144. It's a dozen dozen, 12 times 12. So gross of pencils, 144 pencils. Oh, I just realized I'm supposed to be writing in there. Let's see. Let's be blue today. So a dozen eggs is how many eggs? 12. And a gross of pencils is 144. How many pieces of paper in a ream? 500. So we count other things in groups, too, because who wants to count 500 pieces of paper, right? So for counting numbers, instead of using 12, 144, or 500, we use Avogadro's number, which is sometimes called the chemist's dozen. And instead of being 12, it's this guy down here, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Is that a big number or a small number? That's a big number. That's a ginormous number. It's, it's just you can't get your mind around how big that number is. That's a six with 23 zeros after it. I, I wouldn't even be able to name that. Maybe a gajillion gazillions or something, right? So where did that weird number come from? Well, Avogadro's number is equal to the number of carbon atoms that would have a mass in grams numerically equal to the atomic mass of uh, carbon in atomic mass units. That probably doesn't make a lot of sense. Avogadro's number of carbon atoms weigh 12.01 grams. One carbon atom has an atomic mass of 12.01 atomic mass units. This number was chosen so that this number, 12.01, would apply to a large quantity of carbon and a very small quantity to one atom. So one atom weighs 12.01 atomic mass units. Avogadro's number of carbon atoms weighs the same number but with a different unit, gram. A gram is a unit that's large enough that we can see. A gram of something is about the size of a pea. Okay, so small, but visible, right? How big is Avogadro's number? Your book gives a couple of analogies. If you took Avogadro's number of hydrogen atoms, which are really small, and put them side by side, it would circle the Earth a million times. Some, th those aren't even dust particles. Hydrogen atoms, side by side, would circle the Earth a million times. If we had um, Avogadro's number of Olympic shot put balls, so illustration here, Avogadro's number of Olympic shot put balls would equal the mass of the earth. Olympic shot put balls, are those 8 or 10 pounds? 10, yeah. 10 pounds. So that's a lot, right? Um, if we took the volume of Avogadro's number of softballs, that would be about the size of the Earth. Have, have you guys been outside of California? Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of Californians haven't. And, and why leave, right? We've got everything we need here. We've got mountains, we've got big cities, we've got small towns, we've got deserts, we've got the ocean. Who needs to leave? I grew up in the Midwest and we drive to Minnesota once in a while. And when you drive halfway across the country, especially if you have several children in the minivan, you realize how big the country is. Because you can drive all day long and it feels like you didn't get anywhere. And that's only a fraction 
of going across the Earth. So, you know, the hydrogen atoms going a million times around the Earth, that's just insane. So, bottom line, Avogadro's number, a really, really big number, it's a number you need to memorize. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Very important number. Okay, so a couple questions. What is the mass of one phosphorus atom? We're all looking at the periodic table, and we should be. So under phosphorus in the periodic table, it says 30.97. What's the unit there? AMUs. Gram was a good guess. Uh, you got a 50-50 shot. Atomic mass unit or gram, right? This is the mass of an atom, so we use the atom mass unit, atomic mass unit. What's the mass of Avogadro's number of phosphorus atoms? 30.97 grams. So one one phosphorus atom has a teeny tiny mass. At atomic mass units are just ridiculously small. But if we get Avogadro's number of these atoms, it's large enough that we could see it and do something with it. And so that's part of why Avogadro's number is what it is. It, it becomes very useful that way.